Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on using sine, cos and tan to find an unknown shorter length in a right angle triangle. And we're going to use something called trigonometry to do this. Now in the previous video we saw how we could label the sides of a right angle triangle. Now I've made a copy of these over here. So do you remember that the longest side of the right angle triangle is known as a hypotenuse. It's always opposite that right angle. So let's label that with an H in a circle. And what's the other side we've got here? Well, we've labeled this side here with the X. Now this side here is opposite that angle of 40 degrees. So remember, ignoring the right angle, we look at this other angle that's specified opposite it, you can see we've got this side here. So that's known as the opposite. Now then we use one of these sort of magic things up here to work out how to relate this angle and these two sides here. So we've got sine, cos and tan. These are known as trigonometric functions. And what these do, and you don't have to worry about how they work on your calculator, but when you do sine of an angle, that's the letter theta in the Greek alphabet. So when we do sine of an angle, in this case, this angle, that gives us how many times bigger the opposite is than the hypotenuse. And then similarly, if we're involving A and H, so remember A means adjacent, H means hypotenuse, we would use cos, and we'll see an example of that. And if we involve the opposite and the adjacent of a triangle, we would use tan. Now, we've labelled O and H here, and you can see this formula involves O and H, so we're going to use sine. And the easy way to remember this, by the way, is using something called Sokatoa, because you can see S sine of theta is O over H, SOH, cos of theta is equal to A over H, CAH, and so on. So we've got O and H, we're going to use this here, and I'm going to substitute what I know into this formula here. So we've got sine of that angle being involved here, and that is equal to the opposite, the O, which we labelled as X, over the hypotenuse, which is the 5, and we get this equation here. Now we've got x divided by 5 is sine of 40. Now we want to get x, so we need to times both sides by 5 to get rid of that over 5. Remember we do the opposite. So we're going to times both sides by 5, and that means we're going to get 5 times sine 40, or we could just write that as 5 sine 40 equals x. And then we just put that on our calculator. So make sure there's a d for degrees at the top of your calculator. And I'm going to just write 5 sine is here, 40 degrees and that's going to give me 3.21 centimetres. And always do a sensible check. Does this look like a sensible length, 3.21? Well, yes, it's a bit shorter than the five. What about the next example? Now let's label the sides first. That's always the first step. So we label this longest side, which is again opposite the right angle. That's the hypotenuse. And what's this length here? Well, can you see relative to that angle of 55 degrees, it's next to that angle rather than opposite it. And next to another word is adjacent. So we label that as A. And then we check so ka toa, look so ka involving the A and the H, that's this one here. So cos of the angle is A over H. So cos, of that angle of 55 degrees, remember we ignore the 90, that doesn't count as our angle here, is equal to A, which is the Y, over the H, which is 7. Now we want to get rid of that over 7, so times both sides by 7. And then again on our calculator, 7 cos 55, and that gives us Y is equal to 4.02 centimetres to three significant figures. And then finally, this one, we've labelled this side and this side. So, well, we're not involving the hypotenuse this time, but we are involving, look, this is opposite that angle of 20 degrees. So let's label that as O. And this side's adjacent to that angle. It's next to it, so label it as A. So Sokatoa, that's involving the O and the A. So we're going to use T for tan. So it's this one here. So tan of theta, which in this case is 20 degrees, is equal to the opposite x over the adjacent 8. Again, to get rid of that divide by 8, we times both sides by 8, so x is 8 tan of 20, and then put it on our calculator, and that gives us 2.91 centimetres to three significant figures. So this thing here is all you need to remember, and that allows you to work out these three different trigonometric functions that you need to use.